Now, what did I do wrong to have to speak after Naomi? <laughs> I'm here as the president of the national union that represents thousands of workers in the oil and gas industry. And I'm here to say that we don't buy the irresponsible argument that there has to be a choice between jobs or the economy, because we know there can be both. So Canadians ought not to have to make those types of choices because it's fear-mongering at its worst. So what is the march about? Jobs, justice, climate. So the issue of jobs, first of all, is not somehow to threaten the workers across the country that have jobs in this most valuable industry. But it's talking about how do we have a long-term sustainable strategy that leads to renewable energy. What's the strategy? How can we do it better? How do we do more value added to make sure that we reduce greenhouse gas and we have a strategy for the long term of conversion? And then the whole issue of justice. There can't be justice in this debate unless we find solutions and work with the indigenous people around the world. Think of the casualties of a lack of a strategy globally. The global south, the innocent, the tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of families that are disrupted, people who are killed as a result of flooding and tsunamis. And there can't be any sort of a solution unless we have a plan on how we're going to deal with climate change. Because we understand that climate change is the issue of this generation and future generations. So we can't have a plan, a strategy, solutions. We can't have justice unless we get everybody in a room to deal with the key issue of today. And when I think about Canada's record internationally, it is a disaster. Think of Kyoto. The only country that originally signed to Kyoto in 2000 that walked away from the commitment. And then I want to talk about Copenhagen in 2012 where Harper made commitments as it related to greenhouse gas and the reductions. And here we were, and here we are last week with the Minister of the Environment saying the commitments we made to have in place by 2020, we're now going to push off to 2030. We can't live in that type of a world. We need a commitment to the environment, and it doesn't have to be at the expense of jobs. I want to commit to government yesterday in Ontario that made a commitment that they would change the shuttered coal plants and convert them to making solar panels. Those are the types of commitments and the type of strategy we need as we move forward. So this is about leadership. This is about choices. And I want to say once again, this can't be about the choice between jobs or the environment when we know that we can have it both. Thank you all very much.